What is procrastination? And why do we make ourselves so wrong about when we procrastinate? My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business with no financial risk and success guaranteed. So when we look at procrastination, we have the tendency to judge ourselves. We make ourselves wrong because we know we want to do something and we are not doing it. Um, and yeah, of course, we can make ourselves wrong about many, many things, but it's never a good place to be when we make ourselves wrong. So what can be at, uh, yeah, what, what, is, what is happening? Why do we procrastinate? Um, so there, there are various reasons. Um, maybe the task is too large. It's a lot of work and you know you can't finish it uh, easily or you can't finish it within the time that you think that you have available uh, and instead of making a plan on how to chunk it into pieces and just start uh, especially with the things that are most easy uh, because that always creates momentum and also the, the enthusiasm to continue um, instead of doing that, we don't start. Um, so that's one of the solutions. Just have a look at it, map it out, the whole big, large chunk, uh, make it smaller, start with the things you know and that are easy. That's one reason. The other reason why we procrastinate is because we are not sure about how to approach something. Um, for example, I can procrastinate in calling people um, because uh, you never know how the conversation is going to go. So there is some kind of insecurity in there, uh, losing a bit of control, which is only in my mind because it's never true. I always have great conversations with people, uh, so, um, but it's, it's a belief. So there is another one. We have a belief about something which is not true. We are not catching it within ourselves that we are saying this to ourselves. And therefore, we act upon the subconscious belief that we have and we procrastinate. Another reason why we procrastinate is that we are insecure about something. We don't know if we can do it. And instead of checking if we can do it or how we might be able to do it or if we need help to do it, we don't do anything. Somehow it's more comfortable for us to stay in the not knowing, to stay in the making ourselves wrong um, than taking action and starting to do something about it. Um, yeah, so often it's because things are too far out of our comfort zone, either because it's too large, either because we, make, uh, we have false beliefs, um, we are insecure about it, or we just don't know how to start or approach it. The thing is, we often label it as, I don't like doing it and therefore I procrastinate and often that's the case with things that are good for you and then I'm not talking about work related issues but healthy food, um, going to the gym, doing exercises. We know we need to and that's exactly where, where the problem is because we need to, we don't want to. And even if we want to, it's uh, more difficult to start doing it because the want can be connected with the need. We know it is important, therefore we want it, but it feels as a must because, yeah, that's that's just how it's how we're wired. Now, this will be like that for the first few times. 
whenever you get into the rhythm and into the routine, that will disappear. So it's just something you have to force yourself and do it. The other thing, something that really helps me is I'm in a little mastermind group and we speak every uh, week, every Monday at nine in the, in the evening. And whenever I need to do something that I know it's going to cost me energy, it's going to cost me will, it's going to cost me something. Um, and that's always exercising for me. Um, <laughs> I think I don't like it, but once I do, I like it. So there is a false belief here. I need to go and get changed. I need to get out of the house. It's a lot of hassle. Bullshit. But therefore, I don't particularly like doing it. When I say to my buddies, hey, listen, I'm going to go uh, skating four times this week, then I do it. Because I know I have to face them the week after if I didn't. So procrastination can have lots of reasons, but many times none of the reasons are to make ourselves wrong. It's like we lack something and therefore we don't do it. So we lack support, we lack body, we lack knowledge. And that is what procrastination is about. It's not something to make yourself wrong. So whenever you do catch yourself on procrastinating, do and watch the video again, find out what is the root cause of you being procrastinating and then find a solution for that. Whether it's an accountability partner, whether you need extra help, whether you need uh, extra knowledge, I don't know what you need. Okay, so I hope this video has helped. I created this because I have a Facebook group and many women uh, in the Facebook group say that they have a problem with procrastination and I want you to help uh, help you with that. Um, yeah, that's, that's all for now and do know that if you want me to help you scale and grow your business with a guarantee of doubling it within a year and no financial risk at all, um, just call me, schedule a call. I offer 15 minute calls. It's not a sales call. It's just a qualifying call to find out if you're a good match, but you need to qualify yourself first. You need to have a business to business uh, company so that you sell to other businesses and that you have a service. So I can't make that guarantee for people who sell uh, to consumers or who sell a product. So my name is Tina Karense from Powerful Business Academy. I'm looking forward to help you again next week in the weekly video or maybe talk to you soon during the 15-minute call. Bye-bye.